So this is kind of like a veggie curry, but the way that I cook it and put it together, it turns out like a beautiful rice cake. It's full of color, full of flavor. So when I first came up with this recipe, uh, it was all about the cauliflower. And it's really nice to single out one vegetable and hero it. But you know, at the same time, I really want to celebrate lots of different ways to express this dish. So we can do courgettes, we can use some frozen peas. Here, I've got a 28 centimeter non-stick pan on a medium, medium high heat. We're gonna go in with two onions, white or red. So take the skin off, half them, and then just roughly chop them into about one centimeter chunks. If you haven't got onions, you could use leeks, you could use spring onions. A little bit of oil goes in, and then the onions go in like that, look at that. So we'll just fry these off for like five minutes until nice and softened. So let's get to the veg. Courgettes, for instance, we're just gonna half that, then cut that half in half. And then again, little one centimeter chunks. Then we've got the cauliflower. Trim off the lovely cauliflower flowers, about one and a half centimeters from the flower itself. But then the stalk here, often, this will go in the bin. Like we don't wanna do that at all. We don't wanna waste it. Also, it's really delicious and super nutritious. Slice it up. So look, these onions are getting nice and soft. Now, in with the tikka paste. This stuff's amazing. We've got layer upon layer of different spices. The smell already is incredible. Then I go in with my veg. Just stir it around, jiggle it, and as we get heat through to those veggies, it will start to shrink down. The flavors will really start to come out. So look, after a couple of minutes, let's go in with our frozen peas, just a handful, and then we go in with one regular mug of basmati rice. Then to guarantee you beautiful, fluffy rice that works every time, I'm gonna go in with two mugs of water. So mix that up. And then I want a little bit of spice, right? As in heat spice. So I've got like three chilies here. Prick them with the tip of a knife. And then that will give a really, really subtle chili flavor to this. And one last thing, which I think is a brilliant curveball, poppadom. And when I was in Delhi last year, I saw so many variations of poppadom. I'm gonna take six here, right? and you just smash them up and it will suck up that moisture. A little bit like we use lasagna. So just mix up those poppadoms, pat it all down, and then turn that down to like medium, lid on top, and cook that for about 10 minutes. So this beautiful curry dish has had about 10 minutes. And now if you listen to it, you can hear it catching and crackling. Just push the veg and rice down. On a low heat, just let that fry up for about 10 minutes and it's gonna give it a lovely crispy bottom. And then what I wanna do is kind of dress it up. On the same trip, when I learned about how to use those dried poppadoms in such an interesting way, I also saw them take pomegranates and take mango chutney and put the two together. And the result was like the best hack ever. Simply mix it up, so, so good. So this is our 10 minutes now. I'm pretty excited that it's gonna be nice and crispy. So get yourself a plate or a platter, put it above the pan like that. Yes! Look at that. So what I love to do is get that yogurt and just kind of give a few splurges. We'll go in with those bits of mango chutney and pomegranate, and then just lots of lovely herbs. Get in there through the crust. Look at this. Yes! Ho oh, ho! Oh. Mmm, wowzers. This is food that just makes me happy.